everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel I am very happy to have you here guys oh my gosh long time no see how are you doing guys I hope you are all safe and healthy today I am back with an empties video guys and I want to show you basically guys I want to show you today what fragrances I have used up uh, all throughout this year um, I want to show you two new fragrances in my collection and I want to show you or I want to tell you what are some of my current fragrances on my wish list so guys, I don't want to make this video very long, so let's just begin. Um, I want to start with the empties. Uh, this year I have used up 7 fragrances, besides one that's 30ml and uh, another one that's 75ml, all the other ones are 100ml, so wow. I have just a lot of fragrances, uh, I've used up a lot of fragrances guys this year. But, okay, so this one guys is Italiano Donna by Arma. Uh, as you can see, it's gone. It's empty. I, I've even lost the cap for this one. It doesn't spray any more fragrance. Um, guys, this one, I've used it up so fast. Basically, it was gone in like a few months, guys. Uh, and I'm even surprised with myself um, because of how fast I've used this one up. Basically, guys, this one is your orange blossom mixed with tonka bean, a little bit of vanilla, other white flowers there. It's a very beautiful, sweet, feminine, a little bit powdery. Uh, it has a slight citrus touch, uh, it's beautiful, what can I say, but I even have guys the other one here with me Oh, by the way, by the way, if you buy them, they don't come like this, but I've just cut the thingy over Like, I will insert a picture to know how the fragrance looks I mean, what can I tell you, I've enjoyed it, I mean, clearly I've used one and a half bottles of this one I enjoy it, um, I think I will use this one up in a few months and after that I want to take a break from it because, um, I don't know Sometimes it's good, you know, to miss a fragrance. If you want a feminine, sweet, but not too sweet fragrance that you can wear all year round, all occasions appropriate, daytime, nighttime, date night, office appropriate, everything appropriate, but that still has some character and personality to it because this is not plain. By no means, this is not a basic fragrance in my opinion. Uh, check out this one, it's very beautiful. I would highly recommend it. Okay, so let's continue with the fragrance. By Armaf again, oh my gosh. And I have other ones from Armaf. Wow, guys, this one, this year I have used up a lot of my Armaf fragrances. Well, um, so guys, the second fragrance is called All You Need Is Passion by Armaf as well. What can I tell you about this one? This one used to be my hiking or my hike fragrance. Every time I used to go to the mountains, I used to take this one with me. And uh, now when I smell it, it reminds me of my hiking trips. I don't know, I think I've told you this about me, but I'm a mountain girl. I love the mountains, guys. Even though I live in a big city, but I love going on hikes in the mountains. Um, as soon as I get the occasion, I run to the mountains for a few days. Oh, oh my gosh, yes, it reminds me of good times. This one, it's not as special. I would say this one is a little bit more of a basic fragrance, but not basic in a bad way, guys. Let me tell you something. If I say that a fragrance is basic, it can be basic in a good way. Just because the fragrance is basic doesn't mean it's a bad fragrance, you know? Now, this one for me, it's more of a basic fragrance. Yes, it has sentimental value to me, but besides that, it's nothing, uh, nothing new, nothing spectacular. The performance for this one is okay. Um, this is a safe fragrance, guys. Uh, I don't know if I would necessarily advise you to get it, I mean... I think I would much rather advise you to get uh, the one previous or the one that I will show you next but this is beautiful nonetheless sweet, fruity, a little bit creamy, a little bit fresh uh, yeah, this is it basically with a slight woody base but yeah, very fruity, a bit creamy like I said it's beautiful um, at the moment I am not interested in repurchasing it because, I don't know I have other fragrances for hiking so let's move on to the next one the third fragrance is by Arma as well, guys. Um, it's very funny because just by looking at them now, I've actually no noticed how much I have used up my Arma fragrances. This one, guys, it's Eternia for Women. Uh, this is the one with the correct bottle. I have a new one. This one, guys, this one was made in the United Arab Emirates. This one, this one, it was made in France. But I've noticed no difference in between. Both are from 2018, by the way. If you haven't tried this one yet and you like vanilla, almond, nutty, uh, you like sweet fragrances, you like tonka bean, you like orange blossom, you like uh, sweet bitter citrus, 
all this together you have to try this one out this one guys is supposed to be a dupe not a dupe or like a dupe actually i think it's supposed to be a dupe for Poison Girl by Dior. I don't own Poison Girl, but I have smelled it at my local Sephora and I have to say that this one is actually stronger than Poison Girl. Yes, more synthetic, but also stronger. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this one. Check it out. Uh, this one, I think I would, I would repurchase it. I've used my second bottle. I don't know how much, but again, beautiful 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 fragrance i think this is one is my favorite one from the house of armaf so far and i've tried so many armaf fragrances oh my gosh uh yeah whatever let's move on to the next one the last and final armaf fragrance guys uh, this one is called q essence now with this one i actually cheated a little bit because this one is not actually gone gone but like i have i don't know i don't know how to approximate five mls Yes, I think 5 ml left, uh, but basically I want to keep this one to uh, refresh in my memory because I do not want to repurchase this one. Guys, this is extremely, extremely sweet, like sweeter than pink sugar kind of sweet, but um, this one is heavier on florals, but like on white florals, while pink sugar is heavier on the sugar, cotton candy, whatever. It's beautiful, it's very sweet. I've abused this one one summer and then, I don't know, it just... I don't find myself reaching for this one anymore, but if you are looking for a very sweet, sexy, feminine fragrance, check out this one. Very beautiful, what can I say? Performance, just like with all our mouths, you have to overspray them, but yes. Um, now guys, this next fragrance is the oldest one in my collection from all these that I have showed you so far. I am talking about Rich Worm Addictive by Zara. Uh, this is my second Zara fragrance that I have currently in my collection. The other one is Ebony Woods that I am still testing and I am planning to review it, but my schedule is a bit all over the place. I don't know if you can see guys, but with this one I have like tiny tiny bit left on the bottom of the bottle, but I actually keep this one because I want to spray it from time to time to refresh, to refresh my memory. To refresh my memory guys, uh, this one is so beautiful. I had a love-hate relationship with this one. When I first got it, I really liked it and then it uh, annoyed me because it didn't last. I mean on my skin I get like what, one hour, one hour and a half, not even, and then it's like gone, gone. On clothes I get like two hours, three hours, depends, but I really have to overspray it, I mean like 30 sprays plus, you know, and then I checked it and it's an eau de toilette, so this makes sense, it's an eau de toilette, of course it doesn't last as long, but the scent of this one is very beautiful, guys, very beautiful. I know that you can find the Rich Worm Addictive uh, again in shops in Zara, but I am not uh, interested in buying a new bottle of this one yet because I have just finished it, you know, um, I don't know and I have other fragrances on my wish list than this one very beautiful fragrance for sure one of the more unique ones from Zara and one of my favorite ones from Zara actually and you know what let me tell you something interesting guys um, so basically I had this one since 2018 in my collection um, and the first time uh, that was before I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but the first time that I have ordered, or that I had ordered, the first time that I've ordered a decant of um, Anton's Café by Montal, for some reason, to my nose, it smelled almost exactly like this one, like Rich Worm Addictive from Zara. And I remember being so, like, annoyed, and I didn't understand why that fragrance is so popular and why is it so similar to this one from Zara that costs like, I don't know, basically way more affordable. But now, guys, they are so different. Um, this just goes to show how your nose can play tricks with you sometimes or even how your nose evolves as the, year go by, as the years go by and how you get to... Um, how you get to... How you get to spot slight differences and nuances, you know? Yeah, now that I'm smelling it, it doesn't smell at all, like, at all to Intense Cafe, but I don't know, for me, a few years ago, this one smelled like Intense Cafe. Yes, loved it and used it. Uh, it gave me compliments, but like, only like in the first one hour, 
uh, after I've sprayed it and I went out but yeah basically guys to me the word that describes this one is safe safe for everything basically safe for everything if you have it in your collection and you are looking for something to layer this one with I enjoy layering this one with choco mask because guys it just adds a touch of uh, depth to this one and a bit of a gourmand chocolatey vibe that I love okay so this one guys again I have mentioned this one countless times uh, i think this one with marzal sultan and with uh, oud aswad by swiss arabian are this is like one of my most uh, purchased recommendations with the most positive feedback oh my gosh what they talk to sir <laughs> guys i am talking about shagaf oud by swiss arabian um this one is gone, but I already have another one opened, you know. This one, guys, basically, if I would have to tell you what is my signature scent at the moment, um, like, my real signature scent, it would be this one mixed with Uda Swad. Uda Swad as a base, this one on top. My signature scent. I absolutely love those two together, guys. I want to have them in my collection for the rest of my life. Uh, I have seen, guys, that Swiss Arabian launched some new fragrances. I'm really interested and curious to see how they are and when they will bring them to Europe I hope you can find them on Otino if you live here in Europe but yes guys so I love this fragrance let's move on to the last one so the last one guys it's a small 30 ml bottle I don't usually have the habit of buying smaller bottles because I like to think that I know my taste so well that when I buy a new fragrance, it's an instant love for me. I don't know what was in my mind, but when it came to this one, I was just, let's try it first. Let's get a smaller bottle so um, I can test it. And if I enjoy it, I will get a bigger bottle. Now, the smaller bottle is gone, guys. This is, by the way, this is Fatal Intense by Agent Provocateur. Beautiful fragrance. Naughty, like I've said, uh, naughty is the word that describes this fragrance the best. I associate this one with satin dresses, with the color red, with lace details, with, with a lot. I don't think it's a safe blind buy, but I think that if you like patchouli, vanilla, dark red fruits that are very dry, all mixed together, you will enjoy this one. I enjoy it, guys. I already have a another 100 ml bottle of it that i am using it it's beautiful i like it now okay so i have three honorable mentions can i call them um meaning that the these next three are fragrances that i haven't yet finished but they're like almost gone so the first uh, honorable mention guys is Uda Swag by Swiss Arabian um, if I turn it upside down and I put like the light uh, from my phone besides this I have left like this little bit here. I already have a Becca bottle of this one. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys, like I could legit like, I don't know, like I could legit shower myself in this fragrance. It's so beautiful, like, wow. So, 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 so beautiful, so dark, so opulent, so luxurious. Uh, not for everyone. Keep in mind, I don't think it's for everyone, but uh, I love it. So, the second honorable mention, guys, um, it is my number one most purchased recommendation. Oh my gosh, so many of you bought Majdal Sultan and I had such amazing feedback, not from all of you, because this is impossible, you know, I mean, it's impossible that a fragrance uh, suits everybody's uh, taste, but from the most of you guys, such, such, such a positive feedback. For sure, one of the most unique, beautiful, opulent, luxurious smelling fragrances from Lataf. And not only from Lataf and from all the other brands under the Lataf umbrella. This one is my favorite one. It's beautiful. Smoky, sensey, black pepper, more, more like sweetness to it. I don't have words. I love it. I already have a backup bottle waiting for me. I love this one. Yeah, basically, what can I even tell you more? I think I've said everything that should have been said for this one. Um, gorgeous fragrance, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. For me, this one, I mean, I won't say it's strong, strong, because it, it could have been stronger, honestly. 
and the performance for sure it could have been better. Um, I'm seeing that this one performs better on my partner than on me, but it is, you know, it, it, it is expected. But yes, so the last fragrance that I wanted to show you, um, I don't know how many mLs I have left of this one, but I have used it. This one in like three months, it will be gone. Uh, and I'm happy it will be gone, not because I don't like it, I love it. Like I've said in previous videos, I use this one together with Tresor La Nuit from Lancome and I love the combo, I smell amazing, I have a beautiful scent field everywhere I walk and uh, yes, I enjoy these two together. But I'm happy to finish it guys because I have uh, another fragrance on my wish list. Now guys, talking about wish list, I want to show you two new fragrances in my collection from my wish list. I think you can tell by the sound they make. Um, basically guys, these two are from Montal. This one is called Arabian Stonka and this one is called Intense Cafe. Now, uh, Arabian Stonka, it was a blind buy, very successful blind buy. It was not what I was expecting, but it was more than, that I was more than what I was expecting. Hope that makes sense. And this one, the story behind this one, guys, basically, I've used a lot of Roses Vani in the last few months and I was thinking about buying a Becca bottle of Roses Vani but then I was like why buy another fragrance that smells exactly like this one another 120 ml when I can buy a fragrance that's similar to that one but a bit different um, by the way keep in mind I had like a sample of a, an Anton's Cafe that I kept playing with you know and then I really wanted to have this one, so I got this one instead. And guys, I think I have like one, an older video in which I compare the two. And I say that basically they smell almost identical. I don't know if it's my nose, but now guys, they don't smell identical to me. Yes, they smell very similar, but I like, I can easily differentiate the two. I have actually used this one a lot. Like since I got it, I've used this one a lot. This one, I've tested it more, but oh my gosh, guys, like the first time I have tested this one, it lasted on my skin for 12 hours. Like, can you even imagine? Like, I couldn't believe it. A fragrance that lasts on my skin for 12 hours. Now, I don't know what I did that day. I don't know how like my uh, skin moisturizing routine was that day because the, um, sorry, sorry, I keep playing with my hair but I don't like how my hair looks today, um, whatever, besides the point guys, I don't know what I did that day, but it lasted forever on my skin, basically I got it around 8pm, uh, I spread it on my skin, I worked a little bit, went to sleep, wake up, drink my coffee, and when I sniffed it after 20, 20, not 20, after 12 hours, I could still smell it, and that one, that is to me, impossible like how 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 is possible um but this is very oily guys keep in mind when you spray this one it's like you're spraying oil on your skin this one uh, i don't find it as oily but this one doesn't last as well the next uh, few times i've tested this one on my skin it didn't go to that 12 hour mark but it stayed on my skin for like a good 10 hours which is out of this world, like for me to even think that I have a fragrance that lasts so well on my skin, I'm like, oh my gosh, how is this even possible? Because guys, fragrances don't last on my skin. Like I can apply a good fragrance that people get like five hours. I apply it on my skin in like two hours, it's gone. Okay guys, so those were the fragrances. Um, I think I will let the wishlist part of the video for a future fragrance talk because I don't want to make this video very long. Uh, already I have uh, 30 minutes of footage and I don't want to abuse of your time. Oh my gosh, something else guys. Uh, this last few days we've actually hit like 3k here on YouTube. Basically what I wanted to tell you is that I want to thank you all for the support, for engaging with me, for watching my videos, for commenting, for liking my videos, for leaving such beautiful comments. I swear like I read some of your guys' comments and it just makes my heart so warm and you put the biggest smile on my face, so thank you so much for that. Without further ado guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me here. If you want to tell me anything, put it in the comment section and I promise that I will get back to you. But yes guys, thank you so 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 much for watching and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye! Mwah.